All righty, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Avery Robbins here with Agile Law, and with me is David Stradley, one of our Agile Law customers that's been here a while. David, I'll go ahead and let you introduce yourself. Uh, I'm a trial lawyer in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, do a lot of uh, insurance bad faith, catastrophic injury type cases, and a little bit of class action work. Uh, I'm managing partner uh, here, and uh, we're a plaintiff's litigation boutique. Okay. Awesome. Well, David, thanks so much for taking the time today. Now, real quick, how long have you been an Agile Law customer now? You know, I I would have to go back and look, but I think probably getting close to eight or 10 years now. It was well before the pandemic. Um, so it's been okay. a while. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your continued um, usage of us. Now, real quick, like what did deposition exhibits look like for you before Agile Law? How were you managing your deposition exhibits? You know, uh, I, the way I think probably most people do, which is, you know, lots of paper. Um, we mm -hmm. would, you know, make however many copies uh, we expected to need. So one for each lawyer on, on the other side, plus the witness. Uh, and we would, we would carry those to the deposition, whether it was, you know, across town or um, across the country. Uh, and uh, it was, it was pretty unwieldy uh, to do it that way um, and took a long, took a lot of prep time. Um, and if you decided you needed an exhibit that you hadn't copied or didn't, didn't remember to prepare, um, you know, it was a lot of difficulty ensued at that point. If you could even, if you could even get it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how we used to do it and glad we don't do it that way anymore. Yeah. What would you say would probably be like the, most frustrating aspect of the old way that you were handling your exhibits? You know, I'd have to go with two things, really. I mean, one was the, just the, just the, the lead time that it took to get things together. So, you know, okay. you, you, you basically have to be, have everything ready to go. Um, even for a deposition that you're going to go to yourself and, and carry the documents, um, you know, you'd have to have everything, you'd have to have all your work done at least a day in advance because you got to have your your staff has got to have time to get all the documents together mm -hmm. um and then there's just the the just the, the unwieldiness of transporting all the stuff and and bringing boxes of documents uh even across town that's that's difficult but across the country you start having to ship things and uh mm -hmm. it just makes it it makes for uh a very difficult process mm. yeah it sounds like it now, David, how did you first hear about Agile Law? You know, I, I had a case with a lot of documents and I was looking for an alternative. So mm -hmm. I think I just went to Google and and did a search and, okay. and found you guys uh, and, and you know, sort of took a test drive and I've been here ever since. Okay, awesome. And when you were doing that search, like what was it in particular that piqued your interest about Agile Law? Well, the, just the notion of of being able to do exhibits um, online without having to without having to take them with me. That's what I was looking for at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would say today the biggest advantage is the fact that it's so much more efficient to get ready for depositions. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and even if I have have left out a, a, an exhibit from Agile Law, I can in the middle of a deposition, I can upload a new document um, or, you know, so as long as I've got a digital copy of it. And of course you got a digital copy of everything. Now everything's online in the cloud. So as long as I can put my hands on a digital copy, I can, you know, make it a deposition exhibit um, on the fly as it were. So, you know, that's probably my favorite feature today. Uh, the fact that it makes prep so much more efficient. Mm. Um, you know, I can get my prep done. Um, you know, my staff comes in and says, you need anything for the deposition? I like, no, I don't. I've got everything right here um, in Agile Law. And, yeah. you know, super simple to get get ready. And and I don't have to be ready, you know, a day or two early for the deposition. Mm. Awesome. Now, David, have you had any experience when using Agile Law where maybe you were able to introduce an exhibit in a deposition live that maybe you weren't able to uh, before having Agile Law? You experience you know, anything like that? I, I really haven't had anything like in terms of like a, you know, animation or something like that, that I wouldn't have been able to use. Um, but certainly, you know, voluminous documents, it makes it much, much easier to, 
you know, have a voluminous exhibit of, you know, two or 300 pages. Uh, I mean, agile law really doesn't care whether it's one page or a thousand pages. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it makes, you know, large exhibits much easier uh, to deal with than, than they would otherwise be. Okay. Awesome. All right. And real quick for another use case example, can you explain the difference in the time of like introducing a paper exhibit versus using the electronic platform with Agile Law? Well, it, the, the, the real savings is in, in the preparation process. Okay. Uh, because instead of um, having to, you know, locate my document, um, either print it out myself or send it to my staff to print out and um, make copies of or print multiple copies of, put in a folder, et cetera, and, you know, and organize in a way that I can find it. I literally click on it, drag it, and drop it. And it's in Agile. Um, wow. And, you know, I can go into Agile. Law, I can highlight things. I can annotate things. I can have um, a list of, of the of the places in the document that I want to question people on. And I can click um, and it takes me right there. I can I can put the witness on a page in the deposition. That's that's a huge benefit. So instead of asking them to turn to page 55, I can you know, I can go to page 55 because I've got a uh, like basically a, a, a hot link to page 55 because I've annotated something. Um, mm. And and then I can just click to and the witness is on page 55. So it it speeds things along in depositions as well um, because people aren't having to flip multiple pages and figure out which page that we're on and all that. So that's another efficiency you get. Awesome. We love to hear it. Now, real quick, David, this is going to be my last question for you today. Why would you say, in your own words, why should someone that's listening or watching watching this video take action and start using Agile Law? Um, it is super simple to get up to speed on. Uh, it's literally drag and drop, uh, and and it's going to cut your deposition prep time and lead time way down. Uh, so if you're interested in efficiency, um, it's going to make you more efficient. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time today, David. You're welcome. All right. Thanks.